YouTube, what's up this morning? It's your boy Rebuke, and we got some breaking news coming uh, coming up out of Texas, right? Fox 4, KDFW, State Fair of Texas shooting, suspect identified, witnesses describe chaos after hearing gunfire. And man, I don't know if we're going to roll any of these clips, but as you can see, here's a steal of people running, and now let's get into the details. Dallas. Typically, on Sundays, thousands of people attend the State Fair of Texas, but this Sunday morning, only vendors was there. The fair didn't open until 1.45 p.m. Sunday, after Dallas police said a man shot at another man Saturday night, injuring three people. And so there go the suspect right there, Cameron Turner. Boy, you did it this time, young man. The victims... Two adult males and an adult female are all expected to recover. At least one appears to have been in an incident, an innocent bystander. Dallas police identified the suspect as 22-year-old Cameron Turner. He ran from the scene after the shooting, but officers quickly located him and took him into custody. A gun was also recovered. Boy, Texas is going to probably send you to the penitentiary, homie. They do not play down there. Three people were injured and one person is in custody after a shooting at the State Fair of Texas. Turner is now charged with aggravated assault. The shooting happened around 8 p.m. in the Tower Building, which is a food court. Jessica Metlin was working as a food vendor at the time. All of a sudden, there were four gunshots. It was pow, 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 pow. Then there was about a minute delay, and then there were another there was another gunshot. People fled, she said. People were jumping over my counters. I was pulling people to safety. I was pulling people behind the counters. Wow. And you can only imagine that chaos. Fox 4 News producer Cassinda Crump was at the fair Saturday night with her sister. The two were inside the food court ordering a drink and dug down when they heard the gunfire. I literally saw the smoke clearing from, you know, how gunpowder or gun smoke happens. Crump said, out of nowhere, everybody just starts running. We're trying to get out of the place and people just trampled us. It was chaos. Kanisha Crump said she had footprints all over her body. They actually ran over my body. A lot of people, she said. Someone stopped them and said, let's get let's get them up. Let them get up, you know? And so we got up. It had to have been an angel. Man, I tell you, boy, that's why I don't go to places like that. The fair prohibits weapons on the property. However, its policy makes an exceptions for licensed gun owners. We don't allow weapons in the state fair of Texas. However, we understand that Texans have the right to carry their weapons. So we have a middle ground where those that have a license to carry are allowed to come in with a concealed weapon, said Carissa Con Condonius. Condoniousness. The senior vice president of public relations for the state fair of Texas. It's not clear yet how the suspect got a gun onto the fairgrounds. The fair has an open gate weapons detection system that's new this year. I guess it didn't detect his weapon. The state fair of Texas is reminding visitors about some security changes to this year's event. At least one change could create some slowdowns getting into the fairground. When people walk through, it detects if there are any weapons on them and notifies the security team to then do a deeper inspection at that point in time, Con Condon Condonis said. The fair is planning to enhance security during the final week of operations. We do plan for a heightened security presence, not only on the perimeter of the grounds, but throughout the fair grounds for the remainder of the 2023 State Fair of Texas, Condonis said. They better do something. Photos of the sign at at State Fair of Texas spread across social media, leaving many shaking their heads. Meanwhile, Kanisha Crump shared her views on the on the fair's gun policy. If I had known that they could carry weapons inside guns, I would not have uh, I would not have even gone. She said, but Saturday's shooting didn't stop others from showing up as soon as the fair reopened on Sunday. Woo we man, I tell you what. Why put your life at risk when you can avoid that, man? Why put your life at risk? And this dude right here, 
Texas go break you off something proper, so you might as well get ready for it. YouTube, what do y'all think about Cameron's actions? Drop them comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Stay safe and shalom.